and Chaz, I feel awful about Belle. We're just hoping that this whole thing has scared Sean's trousers up for good. I wouldn't bank on it. I'll have a couple of them, please. I heard Cameron got Belle to the hospital. Must have been a nightmare. Well, Andy's barely got a civil word to say about Debbie. Hmm, it's about to get worse. Why? Mmm, look at you. Arms folded underneath your bust, gossiping when you should be at work. What should we call you? Better. No, it's too grim up there. I can't face work or anything to do with him. Right, so first of all, you get angry and then you're cuddling a latte while your business goes under. Declan must be quaking in his boots. I'm trapped. Right, everything's tied up with him. Well, then grab your little ponies and gallop off into the horizon. There's loads of stables in Yorkshire, Katie. You've done it before. Rubes, can I uh, grab your buns and then settle up later? Oh, such a tease. <laughs> Stop moping about and get on with your life. No. Hiya. Hi. Um, I've knocked at Mum's. Anything to add to it while I'm on? Oh, no, Nick killed us ours. <laughs> so is she here, sleeping it off? No, she's still at the hospital. Her appointment don't finish for, oh, another hour or so yet. Oh, she's OK to be left? Yeah, she needs to be on her own sometimes. Away from me, fanning and flapping. I liked how you uh, made light of her coming out. Well, we jolly each other along, you know.